Brophy is one of the most essential apps to my workflow. I find it irreplaceable when it comes to actually launching applications, changing to different windows, and things like that. Rofi is just fantastic. And while I know that a lot of people prefer Dmenu, and for good reason, Dmenu is really good, I've always preferred Rofi because Rofi has more customization options and you don't have to patch it in order to get a lot of functionality. One of the greatest things about Rofi, similar to Dmenu, is that there are a ton of scripts written for it. And what I thought I would do today is take you through five amazing Rofi scripts that are probably going to change your life. So if I can be a little bit clickbaity here, these Rofi scripts are amazing. So let's just go ahead and jump in with the first one. So the first one on the list is Rofi Emoji. Now, this doesn't really sound all that life changing, I know, but if you are a teenager or someone who just plays a teenager on the internet, emojis are essential to your workflow. They just are. Like You can't type anything on the internet without using an emoji. It's just the rules. I didn't write the rules. It's just the rules. So if you want to get to emojis without Rofi or without using something like Dmenu, you have to find a emoji font and then you like use font manager or something like that in order to actually copy the font to your clipboard. However, there is something called Rofi emoji and basically what Rofi emoji does is it brings up Rofi but with all the emojis and if you select one, so let's just say we wanted to see rolling on the floor laughing, that would come up, you hit enter and then it's in your clipboard. So if you went into a like a, a Vim session or something like that, and you pasted that, you would see the proper emoji right there pasted for you. It's in your clipboard. That's rough emoji. That's really all there is to it. It does come with a ton of emoji support. So if you want to use like a, a computer, you can have a whole bunch of computer stuff. If you want to see a hand, you know, whatever. You know, there's just a ton of stuff here. It's the traditional emoji stuff. And... Uh, and I doubt there will be emojis there that you can't find. So that is Rofi Emoji. Now, the next one is a script that will help you manage your computer's state. And by that, I mean it helps you reboot your computer, shut down your computer, suspend your computer, and log out. And the reason why this is cool is because if you use a tiling window manager, which you probably do if you're using emoji, you don't have access to the traditional GUI tools to do those things. So usually like if you're in Plasma or something, you go to the start menu or whatever they call it, the kickoff menu, and you hit leave or shut down or whatever. You don't have that in a Tiling window manager. So what Rofi power menu does is it presents you with those options. So you can shut down, reboot, suspend, hibernate, log out, or lock the screen. Now that last one is going to be reliant on you having some kind of lock screen mechanism, whether it's i3 lock or slock or something like that. But the rest of these will work just fine as long as you're on system D. All these things require system D in order to work. So if you are on a system that doesn't use system D as it's in its system, these won't work. So I'm sorry for you, but this is just a really simple thing. It helps you manage your system's power state. So shut down, reboot, stuff like that. It's really simple, no options to speak of. The next one on the list is probably the most important one on the list completely because one of the things that I find myself doing in my workflow is copying stuff. Like I'm a, I'm a writer by trade. Well, I'm, at least now I'm an editor by trade, I guess. But uh, anyways, I write a lot of words. And when you do that, you tend to copy and paste stuff all the time. And the clipboard in Linux is, it's complicated. Let's just say that. If you want to see your clipboard history, you can do so with some terminal commands if you want to, but it's not very interactable. Like it's not something you can interact with all that well. Clip menu D is a Rofi plugin, which will also work with D menu if you use D menu, but we're talking about Rofi, that allows you to not only see your clipboard history, but interact with it. So if I bring up clip menu D here, you can see that that emoji that we just copied earlier is right there. And all of my clipboard history is also right here. So I could cycle through any of these things and just, you know, hit enter and it would put that in the clipboard. And then if I could go into, you know, Vim or wherever, and I could paste that thing, 
it's really as simple as that. Now, I will say that it runs in the background because this is a daemon. So this is something that you'll have to have start up when you start your computer up in order for it to work. But other than that, it's really simple and it's fantastic because it means that you can go into your clipboard history, find the thing that you copied that you want to put into your clipboard next or paste next, hit enter, and that will allow you to then paste that thing, even if it was like 10 copies ago. That's just very useful for someone who copies and pastes all the time. And it means like if you are on a website and there's like five things you have to copy, it means you can copy all those things at one time and then go to the place where you need to paste them, get into clip menu D and paste those things once by one by one, just by navigating to them one by one in Rofi. And that means you don't have to go back and forth, back and forth. So that's really cool. That's clip menu D. Now, the next one is one that I'm going to actually have to run in the terminal. You can assign this to a key binding. I just haven't because I don't actually use this one um, because even with a calculator, math is just not something I'm really all that interested in. So if you are in need of a calculator, Rofi Calc is kind of amazing. So you get to it by this command here. And I haven't shown the commands for any of the other ones. If you want to access any of the other things that I'm showing here, the links for all these will be in the video description. They all have very similar or simple setups and they all have documentation on how to set them up. So usually it's just a matter of a line that looks something like this. But anyways, Rofi Calc does basically what you think it would do. It's a calculator. So if I want to do two plus two, it gives you four. If you want to do two, times 600 it gives you oops you got to do the right symbol times 600 you know it gives you the result of that you know calculation obviously you'd probably know those but if you wanted to do something more complicated like one to find out what 12 to the seventh power equals it would tell you what that answer is if you wanted to find the square root of something you could do that if you wanted to find out what you, you wanted to add together a three or four numbers. So if you wanted to do like three plus five plus 89 plus 975 plus three, that would give you the output of all those numbers added together. It's a calculator, right? And it just means that if you put this into a key binding you know, with SXHKD or whatever, you can then have a calculator at your fingertips whenever you want it. It's just that simple. So the next one is one that I've just found and it's amazing, but I don't think that it's going to apply to everyone, which is just, it just makes me sad because it's so useful. If you use MPD, which is the music player daemon, and you use that to play your music, chances are you control that through key bindings, which is the way I've always done it. Like I have Alt K and L for play and pause, Alt H and J to go forward and back. Those still work just fine and they're probably the most efficient way of navigating through the music that is playing through MPD. You can set those key bindings to whatever you want. However, there is a Rofi script called Rofi MPC and what this does is it allows you to play, pause, next, previous, and random the current playlist of MPD, which is good enough, but also it allows you to see the entire list of your current playlist. So if you are in, right now I'm on a Breaking Benjamin sprint, and I have been for weeks, I've just been listening to this playlist over and over and over again, which is, it's just, it happens from time to time. But I can just cycle through each of these things in my playlist, find the one that I want to play, hit enter, and it will begin playing. Or if it's already playing, it will move to that song. And that's just amazing because it means you don't have to bring up NCMPCPP, which is the music player that I use. It's a front end for MPD. And I don't have to deal with this at all. I can just use Rofi MPC to bring that up and do the things that I need to do. It will also allow you to control your volume if you want to do that here. Uh, I don't see a reason why I would ever want to do that here, but you could do it. So those... So those are the five Rofi scripts that I find the most useful for most people and for me. Like, I know I don't use the calculator one, but that's just because I don't do math ever. But the rest of them I use on a daily basis. The MPC, the Rofi MPC one, I've used multiple times in the last few, couple days since I found it. It's amazing. Like, it's really good. Uh, the Clip Menu D one, huh, that thing is just so useful. I use it all the damn time and it's one of the first applications that I install on a computer. The Rofi power menu, 
I find myself missing that when I'm using a non-systemd distro. Like when I use MX Linux, Rofi Power Menu doesn't work well with that, so I miss it. Like it's just not that great. You know, it just it's something that I miss. So if you have Rofi scripts that you are interested in, you use, you can leave those in the video description. Just, just remember, don't leave links because YouTube will del delete those. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at the LinuxCast. You can follow me on Mastodon and, and all my other social media networks. Those links will be in the video description. You can f support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. I'd really like to thank all of my patrons. I truly do appreciate it. All these wonderful people have supported me over the last year and a half, and I cannot tell you how amazing and thankful I feel just because these people support me. If you want to be one of those people, patreon.com slash linuxcast, you also notice that I didn't read out the names. Uh, unfortunately, that's the end of an era, I have a feeling, because it's just <laughs> the number of outtakes that I had to do in order to read those names, it, it was getting kind of overhand. So, anyways, thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.